If her sexual interest is low, it's a no. It's a no, dog. <laughs> right. This goes deeper than just surface level hookups. It goes deeper than that, because when I say this, everyone tends to automatically jump to hookups, which is natural, because when you're talking about sexuality, it's natural to think, hey, he's talking about, you know, hooking up. And it goes deeper than that. It really goes deeper than that. It's not just some surface level, shallow concept. It's something that applies to hookups, relationships, marriages, everything in between and everything in between. It applies to all of those institutions or con or concepts or situationships. And it's something that a lot of men need to be very cognizant of. And I'm getting into it. First of all, this is a Tarek Talks Midnight Podcast. Sit down, relax, and enjoy. I made another podcast that was entitled Solid Men Don't Tolerate Wishy-Washy Behavior. And this is kind of like a follow-up to it. The thing about it is men need to understand that if a woman's sexual interest is high, you're not going to get a lot of that going back and forth and little tug of war between you and this chick, you know, a text after one day type of stuff. You're not going to get that. Now, I will say this. Some women or some females, I should say, have followed these ridiculous dating tips that have been passed down from generation to generation, so to speak. And what am I talking about? What are these dating tips, so to speak, that have been passed down by their aunties and grandmas? Guys, I've literally I've literally heard young ladies say that their grandma told them, hey, don't show your interest to a man. Make him work for you. Make him chase you. All that type of retarded shit. And the thing about it is a lot of these females, their elders are single. That's another story. That's a whole nother story. But it's like the blind leading the blind. So I'm not talking about in that case. And to be honest with you, women that do think like that, even if they are attracted to you, I wouldn't deal with them anyway, because if you think it stops there, it doesn't. You're, you're going to have to be pretty. You're going to pretty much have to carry the whole interaction on your back. OK, but I'm not talking about that, even though you should really leave them alone, too. I'm talking about when. For example, you're dealing with a young lady and she texts you back like one or two days later or sometimes in my past, in my single days, because, you know, I'm taken now. I got I, I got me old lady. You know, we both we both in a healthy relationship, a loving relationship. So I'm just trying to pass down my experiences to guys that are still in the dating market. But. In my experience, I had chicks that texted me like a week later. Unacceptable shit. And all that all that really says is, is this chick is really not taking you serious because she really doesn't view you as attractive. She doesn't view you sexually attractive. Think about it like this, guys. Let me flip it around real quick. Imagine there was a young lady that wasn't so appealing to you. Let's just put it like that. You really don't find her too attractive. But her personality is. It's great. And this is an unfortunate part of human nature. This is our lizard brain coming into action. What is a lizard brain? Lizard brain is pretty much the part of your brain that's kind of like the caveman style, sex, food, 
water, basic necessities. It's it's the more survival. It's the more monkey brain they, they also or animalistic type of brain where it's re, it's, it doesn't really go in the complex thinking. And then we have our neocortex, which does all the logical thinking, problem solving, deep thinking, philosophy, you know, philosophy, questioning what is life, things that are that supersede human thought. Or super supersede animal thoughts, excuse me, even though some animals like dolphins, they say that they have higher thinking like us. But needless to say. This part of our mating or this attraction skill, physical attraction skill, is part of the lizard brain, unfortunately. And you can try to slice it and dice it any way you want. But if a man is not physically attracted to a woman, now this pertains to women too. This pertains to how women think too. But let me get let me get back to the example just so guys can understand. If a man is not physically attracted to the young lady there is only so much she can do and this does happen guys this does happen it doesn't happen to many many men but it does happen to a select few men where he'll have a chick that is extremely in or or women plural He'll have a woman or women that are very sexually attracted to him, but he does not reciprocate it. He don't find them attractive. They can spend money on them. They can take them out. They can cook for them. They can do this and that. Now, let's be completely honest. As men, hey, look, we've all been intimate with the young ladies that we didn't find attractive, right? Let's just let's just let's just put it out there. Let's put it out there. We've all been intimate with young ladies that we didn't find attractive cuz we didn't get any in like some time. Okay, whether well, it have been a couple of weeks, months, whatever. So we were like, you know what? This will do. But I'm talking about for the most part. There's nothing that this young lady can do to make the guy attracted and if you guys don't believe that women get desperate like that too for men that that they find attractive i'm gonna tell you this they do they do and most men don't see it most men don't see it because there is a stat out there that women don't find most men attractive and this is uh, this that's that's another topic i'm not gonna get too deep into it and I will say say this about that topic. A lot of guys are going to push back when I say this. But a lot of times a man is not attractive because he it's his fault. OK, now I know I'm going to get some guys talking about height, face, all that good stuff. Look, it is what it is. I'm just going to say it. Aside from all that, it's them. You know, their sex appeal isn't up to par but needless to say they don't find that man attractive and look there's there's nothing that that the woman can do to make to make him uh attra attracted and vice versa now let me flip back to the woman's perspective there's nothing that the guy can do to make her attractive there's no amount of pickup lines. There's no amount of wooing and swooning and pleading his love, trying to prove himself, spend money. That's a lot of guys default. Is the money route. That is a lot of guys default. They default to spending money on this chick. And a lot of chicks, unfortunately, fellas, will not say no. And it's some trifling stuff. It's some trifling shit. Because this woman knows that the man is extremely attracted to her. She knows that he's trying to get with her in an intimate way. And she uses that to her advantage. 
You know, the guy's stupid. First of all, he's stupid for endlessly pursuing this chick, even though she gave him plenty of signs that she's not attracted. And the chick is wrong for letting him do that because she knows that he's extremely attracting. And she's just using that as uh, to her advantage. But guys, you cannot do anything to make her find you appealing, sexually appealing. Now, like I say in my videos, you could work out. You could get yourself together, get your hygiene up, get your cut up. And yes, that is going to greatly increase your sex appeal. Greatly. It is going to do wonders for you to where some women that are predisposed to liking you or finding you attractive will find you attractive like, oh, damn, he done lost some weight. He done gained some muscle. He done cleaned up his image, his style. He looks clean now. He, he, he looks nice. He looks presentable. Yeah, I'm not talking about that case. I'm talking about cases where chicks just where it's it's women that you could do whatever in your power and they still not going to find you attractive. That's what I'm talking about. And there's nothing you could really do about that. And society, you know, it, it kind of lied to men and it told them that there is. But there isn't. And that's OK. The silver lining in this is that it's OK. Not every chick is going to find you attractive. It's fine. A lot of guys on the Internet, they make these videos. Oh, they Stacy's don't find me attractive. It's like, man, not every chick is going to find you attractive. And let's let's leave physicality out of the way for a second. Some chick like you're not going to be their type whatsoever. Some chicks like guys that are considered unattractive, quote unquote. But to her, he's attractive to her, to the specific woman. Right. But if, if she she it's not there, then it's not there. And the thing about this video is this podcast is pretty much telling guys to not waste their time. Keep it moving. Keep it trucking. You'll find somebody. With that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed the podcast. Peace.